Hello. So this video is going to be me talking about one of my top interests. So this interest of mine is finding famous grave sites of famous people that are gone but not forgotten. So I found this out when I found a YouTube channel called Memory Lane Trips with Steve. So this man, and who I'm guessing is named Steve, he runs around Los Angeles finding in grave sites of famous actors and actresses from movies and shows from the old days. Um, he's done one on the Three Stooges, Laurel and Hardy, Grease, um, It's a Wonderful Life, and many others. Um, I do like his Three Stooges video uh, when he went to the four grave sites of all six Stooges. Um, he started with Mo Howard, who is buried at Hillside Memorial Park in Culver City. He's buried all by himself, apparently. His two brothers, the other two Howards, Shemp and Curly, are buried at Home of Peace Memorial Park in Whittier. And then Larry Fine and Joe Besser are buried at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale. And they're in separate locations. Which is the same with Shemp and Curly. They're also in separate locations of the cemetery. Um, Shemp is interred in a mausoleum, and Curly is buried outside in a huge pile of headstones. And Larry Fine is interred in a mausoleum, and Joe Besser is buried outside under a tree. And then Valhalla in Burbank is the home of the last stooge. Curly Joe Dorita, who was the last one to die at the age of 83, and he lived to be the oldest. And surprisingly enough, Curly Howard lived the shortest life. I forgot how old he was when he died, but he had the shortest life. And he was my favorite. Is he is funny? He's, just about half mog, half man, half dog. So there are lots of famous cemeteries in Los Angeles, but I think the one that reigns supreme and is the most popular in Los Angeles or Hollywood is probably Forest Lawn Memorial Park in the Hollywood Hills, which is totally different than the one in Glendale. Surprising, there are two forest lawns in uh, Los Angeles. Um, the forest lawn in the Hollywood Hills is just crowded with stars. Um, that's where Tom Bosley from Happy Days is buried. In fact, I think he's the only Happy Days member that actually has a gravesite. Most of the others, their ashes are unknown. Um, just like Aaron Moran, who played Joni. Um, Al Molinaro, who played Al DeVicchio. Oh. Pat Morita, who played Arnold. Um, Robin Williams, who played Mork. You would be surprised that all the other er, Happy Days members are still alive. And I think... Another one of my favorite find a great Eve video from Steve is when he did It's a Wonderful Life. The one starring Jimmy Stewart and Donna Reed. So Jimmy Stewart is buried at Forest Lawn in Glendale. Also, oh, oh. Clarence, played by Henry Travers, is, is also buried at Forest Lawn in Glendale. And then, Donna Reed, 
Mary Bailey is buried at Westwood Memorial Park, the same place where everyone's biggest sex symbol is buried, Marilyn Monroe. Like, trust me, she's a sex symbol. Believe me, she is. Um, Westwood Memorial Park is also where Eve Arden from Greece is buried. You might remember her as Principal McGee. But then, um, Oakwood Memorial Park in Chadsworth, Earth, California, is where Gloria Grant um, is buried. You might remember her as Violet from It's a Wonderful Life, being the bad girl she was. And at Calvary Cemetery, this was a must-have find. This was one of my favorite members of It's a Wonderful Life, Mr. Potter, Lionel Barrymore. He was the man that played the miserly, sinister Mr. Potter. Being that big, evil man that tried to put George out of business. Who do you think you are, Mr. Potter? Who do you think you are? Um, all the other... I don't know where they're buried. I don't know where Lillian Randolph is buried. You might remember her as Annie, the maid of the Bailey household. Um. Um. Steve has also done one of my favorite old days shows, Laurel and Hardy. So... Anyone who has watched Laurel and Hardy, please let me know. So, Laurel and Hardy is a very famous comedy show at the time of Hal Roach. Hal Roach Studios is where they made Laurel and Hardy. So, Stan Laurel is buried at, what else? Forest Lawn in the Hollywood Hills. And... Oliver Hardy is buried at Valhalla, the same place where Curly Joe Dorita is buried. And they have starred in a lot of TV shows and movies, but Laurel and Hardy, the TV show, is the most popular. And also, Forest Lawn, the Hollywood Hills, is also where one of my one of my celebrity crushes is buried. Naya Rivera. So, oh, I'm sure everyone has heard of her death from that drowning in, at that California lake, which is just oh, always still pure hell to just think about. Um, but yeah, she's buried at Forest Lawn in the Hollywood Hills. I don't know if they like put her marker down yet, but I think mm, Steve from... Memory lane trips with Steve. You should probably do like a famous graves video on the royal family. As I bet you some, uh, I bet you a lot of the cast of the royal family is dead. At least I definitely know Naya Rivera is, but Steve, I'm telling you, you should uh, uh, do one on the royal family family. I'm just putting that out. I want you to do it. So, yeah, finding famous graves is just awesome. I mean, who who doesn't like to do that? If you like to find in famous people that you like that are dead, you always have time to do it. Now, I don't know anyone that that's like that's like famous and buried out here. I do know that um, I do know that my my friend Kara, her mom had passed away, and I have pretty much no idea where or in Arizona she is buried. I've told. 
I told Kara about it on Instagram and asked her, where is, where is your mom buried? And she's never responded back. But yeah, and that is one of my biggest addictions to my life. And you know what? I think I'm going to add one more er, er, one more thing to this. I'm going to talk about a, a new a new YouTube channel that I just started watching. My friend Alex, the driver guy on YouTube, who got me into this channel. It's called Oh shit, talking mushrooms. So this channel kind of reminds me of Waffle Pong with this kid who does temper tantrums. And obviously they're not real, they're skits. They look real, oh believe me, but they're skits. So Oh Shiitake Mushrooms is about a family that is basically all about doing vlogs. They had three, three kids whose names all start with L's. We got Leanna, London, and the star, uh, the star kid of the channel, Leland. So Leland is kind of like the troublemaker of the channel, causing big temper tantrums. He does a lot of things to his family and his school teacher, I believe. Like, like when he was trying to drive his mom's van to McDonald's when he comes across a Karen in his driveway pulling the Christmas lights off their house tree. Lee and just drives towards her and just runs her over as pro-revenge. There was another video with a Karen on their channel when Leland was riding his bike in the street and this Karen walks over to him and just like chews him out. Well, the mom tries to get this Karen to go away but just that only gets her chewed out by the Karen. Then I've seen Leland so many times flip his family off. I remember when he flipped his mom off and that only managed to get him spanked. Um, Leland once flipped off some cops and they got arrested. Um, but yeah, Leland is quite the tr troublemaker. I know when he... He threw a can of coke at his dad's nose and almost, he almost broke his dad's nose with a can of coke. So, Leland, you are one big troublemaker. So, that's going to end this video. I hope you enjoyed me talking about famous graves and Oshitaki mushrooms. So, peace out. Now.